Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're here, it means that you love, like me, bullet journal, art journal and drawings. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media so you won't miss any updates. You can find them in the info box. I upload a tutorial about them every Wednesday, so don't miss them. This monthly log is about the flower mimosa. I've chosen it because the 8th of March is the International Women's Day and I know that you like flowers. I've used watercolors and drops of water, so the drawing will dry quickly. Remember to put a sheet of absorbent paper under the page, so the watercolors won't ruin the page. In alternative, you can use felt pen, crayons or just leave it in black and white. As you can see, I used different shades of green to draw the leaves. And then I used a gel pen, always green, um, to write my calendar. The calendar is very simple. Write on the left column the days of the month and divide it in two sections, university and personal, where you can write the related tasks. I've used again watercolors to draw three post-it, Notes section, goals of the month and the next month section. With the same color, I fill the page with the yellow dots and after let it dry, I've used a black brush pen to write March. Move on with the goals of my life, a simple system that helped me to keep track of my projects and stay organized and stop procrastinate. I divided the pages in six columns which match with a category of my life – university, work, personal, drawing, social media and hobbies. In each column I write the goals that I want to achieve to improve myself in that categories. And here I'm using again the brush pen to match every category to a different colors. I fill the blank space with the Michelle Obama quotes that says always choose excellence. To realize my monthly goals, I like to break up them in little and easy steps. I like to call them daily goals or micro goals. So the next thing that I usually do every month is write a grid and write for every day of the week a daily goal that will help me to reach the big goal of the month. But if you don't want to write a grid every month, you can do what I'm doing here. You can use post-it, so in this way I don't have to cancel the dates and rewrite them every time. When I complete the goal, I remove the post-it. Next, I set up the wick. I've left 4 cm from the border of the left and right of the page. I've written a little March calendar. Then I've written 3 goals that I want to achieve this week. And then I've written a little habit tracker where I put all the habits where I want to get better. For example, drawing, knitting, reading. I've added favorites of the week section, 
where I like to write the most important events of the week or just my favorite movies. It's a way to thank every day what life gives to me. And as always I've put my notes section where I write everything that I need. I complete the layout writing the days of the week with my Stabilo pen 68 and I finish all with a, um, a drawing. Lately I'm practicing a lot with food watercolor so this is what I'm going to do next. So here I'm painting some pancakes and waffles and the message that I want to send with this drawing is start the day with energy. Remember that you can tag me on Instagram or in my other social media with the hashtag CarmenArtJournal uh, so I can see your recreations. That's it for today, if you have enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching, I will see you very soon, bye guys!